Way too special. Yeah, pure deliciousness. Pure deliciousness, man. My name is uh, Banky, man. Everybody calls me Banky. That's the name that I got from my grandmother when I was young. I'm coming out here after 30 years. Yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm going to have something because I'm rich in personality. You know, and uh, I'm rich in love. My family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts. Never thought I'd be riding in the street going to a prison. In a car going to a prison. Not from a prison, but to a prison. Take the next ride on the Indian Creek Road. Going to see my homeboy Star get out. See him getting released, get his liberation after 24 years. He's been in there since he was 16 years old. 16 years old. He's 41 years old now. He's getting out this morning. I remember what that feeling was like. It wasn't long ago. That was me. So I know it's a beautiful feeling. It's a beautiful thing, man. I'm so happy for him. I'm uh, trying to be there for him, man, so I can be a part of that celebration, be a part of that moment, because that moment going to live in your mind forever. So I won't be a part of his moment. I ain't never been to this prison before anyway. It's St. Bride's. I ain't never been here. I ain't never, uh, I haven't dealt with no officers outside of prison. So to see these officers up here in their uniform and all of this walking around outside of a prison, I know it'll be a lot different. I know they got a lot of, they have a lot better attitude. You know, when they see you dressed in regular clothes and, you know, you're a civilian, they act all nice. It's a different ball game back there behind them bars, but it's all good. I ain't going back in there anyway, so. But uh, I'm just happy for him this morning, man. I'm going to try to bring y'all his story soon. Uh, put it on this YouTube channel so y'all can see it. Um, he a good brother, man. He um, got caught up in a bad situation at a young age. But um, he came through it, he better for it, he's stronger mentally, physically, and spiritually. And I'm sure he's gonna get out here and do some good things. And uh, I definitely will be introducing y'all to him real soon on the YouTube, probably do a story with him, sit down with him, let him explain his journey to y'all, what he been through and his uh, incarceration, things he's learned, uh, what he, how he's grown, what's made him a better man, a better person. So uh, y'all stay tuned for that. Shout out to everybody out there on Team Banky Pam, man. Much love. I appreciate the love. I appreciate the support. Um, today, man, was a wonderful day. Very, very beautiful day. I was able to see one of my comrades come home. I was able to actually be there when he got out. I couldn't actually be there when he walked out of the facility because they told me I had to leave because his immediate family was already, already there. So I went down the street. And uh, I waited for him, man. I met him at Wawa's. He came to see me. Uh, his, his brother picked him up with his mother and uh, step pops. And they came down there. And we got out, man. We embraced. And it just was a, uh, it was a great feeling to, to just be able to see him, to see the joy on his face after getting his liberation for after 24 years. Um, my man has been incarcerated since he was 16 years old. You know, he's now 41 years old. He uh, done his time. He, he, he's out now in the free world. Uh, he's a good brother. He's a good brother. I met him years ago through uh, a family member of mine that he was real cool with. He was incarcerated. So I, I, I befriended him and, and was more like a big brother, a mentor to him for years. He's always been a good dude. He's one of the few dudes that I have met in my uh, entire bit that didn't even cuss. He never even cussed. The entire time I was around, he never slipped anything. I never seen him, you know, let them words come out of his mouth. I've seen him mad. I've seen him irritated. I've seen him frustrated. And he would use some of the funniest words you ever heard. Ham pies, tail. Oh, man, he keep playing with me, yo. Hey, yo, I'm, hey, hey, I'm going to mess his tail up, man. I'm telling you, I'm going to mess his tail up, man. I said, man, yeah, you know, he just used to make me laugh. He just was a good dude, man. He got that infectious smile where he, he smiled, man, and makes you want to laugh. Really, really good dude. I was really touched, man, to see him release today, to see the joy on his brother and his mother's face, 
to you know to get their family member back with them man it's a beautiful thing it made me reminisce i'm not too far removed from that so it just made me feel all the things that i feel felt when i got out all over again you know i was uh able to walk in the store with them wawas for the first time walking in the store after 20 something years it was crazy when i first walked in a little grocery store you know i felt like amazed at all the you know, all the choices, all the things. I mean, and I'm going to bring y'all this footage, a little bit of this footage from his first hour. His first hour out after 24 years, you know, is going to come on after this video uh, or be edited into this video. Uh, shout out Hollywood Trail after he do his thing. But I just wanted to give y'all an explanation of what y'all about to see. You're about to see a man that did 24 years, was incarcerated since he was 16 years old. A good brother, you know, you know, treat me wrong, make me strong. All the things, the wrong that he had to go through while he was incarcerated just made him stronger. He still has his wits about him. He still is a, a, a sharp brother. And um, he, he got determination in his heart to do some good things out here. I'm going to be talking to him. I'm going to be working with him. A um, little background on him, you know, when he came in at that young age. He also met another young brother at that age who maybe was one year younger than him. Maybe he was 17, the brother was 16. Uh, the brother eventually had 10 years for a carjacking. The brother eventually did eight years on the carjacking and got out of prison and went on to do great things. I mean, monumental things. Uh, he went on to author several books, uh, critical acclaimed books, won NAACP awards, little image awards. Uh, he then you know, had scholarships to any school that he chose. He chose Yale. Yes, Yale. Went to Yale Law School and graduated and is now an attorney. He turned around and paid it forward and came back to help Terrell uh, get out of prison. You know, he is the main facilitator for getting Terrell out of prison at this time right now that he's getting out and it's just an amazing thing, man, a brotherhood um, at its finest. You know, someone who got out and didn't forget where they came from, no matter how much they accomplished in this world, because truth be told, that is a, a monumental accomplishment. You know, I don't know nobody else who ever, you know, been incarcerated, you know, multiple years and got out and became a Yale or uh, law school graduate. You know, if there is somebody else, they, they I definitely have never heard of. So I will be bringing y'all interview with him soon. His name is Reginald Dwayne Betts. Y'all can Google him, look him up. Um, so, you know, I just think it's an amazing story. I want y'all to get this story. I want y'all to, to understand, you know, the significance of these events that happened, to transpire for him to come back and help Terrell make parole. Terrell didn't even have parole. He not only didn't have parole, he got Terrell a parole date and represented him and his parole. And Terrell is out here, man, made first parole. Outstanding work from an upstanding brother. So I'm going to try to bring y'all an interview with him as soon as possible. I will be bringing y'all some with uh, Terrell, a.k.a. Star, soon as he, uh, you know, gets settled in and get his stuff together. Um, it's just a, a feel-good story, man, that I want to share with TBP, Team Banky Pound, so y'all can... Uh, Feel the things I feel like I told y'all. Wherever I go, y'all go with me, you know. So um, I just think it's great, man. It was just a good day. As y'all can tell, I still feel the joy, and you know, overwhelmed from just seeing the joy on his face and his family face for actually being able to reunite, you know, with their family, man. It's just it's just beautiful, beautiful thing. Star was, was, was looking strong. He's looking, you know, you know, encouraged. He was like a deer headlights, though. We go in wild eyes. He's scared to touch the, 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 the uh, door to open the door to get the soda he points I'm, I'm like man we ain't locked up no more you can touch it out here you can you know you can do your thing man grab what you want he ain't want nothing to eat he was so nervous he finally settled in on some honey buns or something he pointing at the food when he get it hand it to his brother you can see the nervousness on his his his, his posture on his movements because when we in there, we, 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 you know, we monitored so much. It's always somebody over our shoulder, over our back telling us, don't do this, don't do that, don't step here, don't go there, don't touch this. So just to be out within your first hour and be able to do all of these things that you wasn't able to do for two decades, that alone is mind-blowing. 
is mind blowing, and I know because I'm not too far removed from that, you know. So it just was a, it was an awesome thing for me to witness from the other side for the first time, and it was crazy because I'm sitting up here at Wawa's and I'm waiting on him, you know, to to his brother to call and say, you know, he out, we coming up there, and while we waiting, it's like officers coming. I guess they're getting off from work or whatever. And I think it's two different prisons is close to there. So they're coming in and out of the Wild Wilds and they looking over there. And would you believe one of them actually came out and um, had his mask on and everything and was walking by. And he looked straight at me sitting down there at the table at Wild Wilds, fumbling with my phone. And he said, Banky Pam, I be watching you on YouTube, brother. Good work. And gave me a fist bump. It was crazy. I was like, man, that's crazy. He said, yeah, man, keep doing what you're doing, man. Good work. You know, so shout out to him, man, uh, C.O. C. O. Smith, man. Uh, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate the love and support. And um, I didn't even know that, you know, the C.O.s could possibly be watching us over here at TBP. But, hey, they watching, they watching. But it's all good. We, we accept all positive energy. That's what we're about, positive energy. So it's all good, man. And he was he was cool. I did see one or two walk in, spoke and everything. They had the stone face on. I already could tell what type of officer they was because I done dealt with that type so much. But out here, like I say, I don't even trip, you know. I, I can just keep it moving. Keep it moving, you know. Treat me wrong, make me strong. So it ain't hurt me one bit. He wanted to have the stone face. I ain't want to speak. Keep on walking. It's all good. We got positive energy over here, positive flow positive everything only over here but all in all it was a great day um i'm gonna try to share some of it with y'all so what y'all about to see is footage from a man that's just getting out of prison after 24 years a man who's been incarcerated since he was 16 years old a good brother who don't even cuss um ain't got no license in his heart i never had a um, problem with him he never uh 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 disrespecting, never came sideways. When you're dealing with men on a day-to-day -day basis, every day, 365 days of the year, you know, 24-7, you will see the real person. You will see the essence of that person because you can't fake it all the time. The real you will come out. So if you're around someone long enough, you will know who they are because they will reveal who they are. And the whole time that I was around him, he never revealed anything to me but an upstanding, loyal, good brother. So I salute him, my little brother, and um, I hope he do great things out here. I'm quite sure he will, but y'all will be hearing from him soon. To the people who um, seen my post this morning on Instagram and sent him well wishes and everything, he salutes you. He, he said he appreciate it. I tried to show him some of that. Y'all was seeing the footage. He was looking at my phone. Salute to uh, Latasha Q. She know who I'm talking about. She sent him a little something. I made sure he got that. He said he appreciate that much love. So to all of y'all who support Team Banky Brown, I appreciate y'all. I appreciate the love he does as well. And um, like I said, y'all be hearing from us real soon. In the meantime, I appreciate the support for the stories. Uh, we got more to come. We got some cooking in, in line. 2022, we gonna do a lot of things with Team Banky Pam. Y'all get prepared. I'm getting ready to go do my first uh, college uh, speaking engagement this Monday, the 20th, at Elizabeth City State University. Shout out to Sean Walker, the basketball coach who invited me. It's going to be a beautiful thing. Um, if you're in the area, please attend. If not, stay tuned. I'm going to definitely try to bring y'all the footage to uh, Banky Pound YouTube. Um, so shout out to all my members. Shout out to my team, Banky Pound. We on our way to doing great things. I can't do it without you. Much love. Stay tuned. Be safe. Be smart. Make good decisions. Boom. I got up real this morning. You definitely surprised me, man. For real, yeah. And I'm talking about, look. First of all, the car. I, I thought uh, my mother's husband, I thought he had an Austin, right? Yeah. So the police was like, um, that's your fuse right there, the black car? I said, no. Nah. I said, um, they got something a little small, a little Austin awesome or something like that. So you sure they ain't there? I said, no, not that big, pretty car. <laughs> <laughs> he said, man, they wave it. And uh, it, it was my mom. I said, oh, man, it is. Yeah, yeah, I know she was and excited. Then, but anyway, the when I hollered at them, and then it was like, the you was up here, man. That, yeah, yeah, that definitely made my day. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that, that, that definitely made hey, my day. Hey, by the way, I'm gonna pull up to the front. Uh, I'm gonna pull up to the front. All right.
Yeah, yeah man. Definitely. So what's your, what's on your plans for the day, man? What's gonna do the day? Um, First day, bro. See the PO and um. Oh, you going him. straight to see him? Yeah, and um, get a phone and um, I ain't got no shoes and I uh, get give me give me. What size you wear? Size ten. Oh yeah, yeah. see I ain't know you said I could get the uh, yeah, yeah I ain't shoes. Yeah, I don't have any damn. My mom said um some boxes, some packages came, but I don't know from who though. Um, Maybe the way, probably the way. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, all you gotta do is just say, take it slow, man, day by day. Don't jump on anything. That's like food, clothes, or whatever. Because like I told you on the phone, it, it's gonna look, everything gonna look appealing. Because we ain't had nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everything gonna look appealing. Yeah. But you just gotta take it step by step. Because you'll get something today, and then tomorrow you'll say, oh, man, no, I want this. Yeah. See what I'm saying? So just, you know, take your time, survey everything, and just. Let it all come to you, man. Yeah, weird, I man. know, man. You with know, you, I know. No supervision. No and everything. That's how I, I felt. Said, look, and and that's what you thought, though, but I, I was scared even. You that's the thing. Yeah. I said, you didn't want to open the joke because yeah. you were like, yeah, I'm like, you man. can tell. That's how I, I mean, was. You, don't, you, you know, we don't do we that. Don't do that. You, know you know what I'm saying? saying? We don't and do it. That's what I tell. And years of man. Yeah. It's mental, yeah. though. It's just mental, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to slowly start fading away because, like I say, as you move throughout the day, the day is gonna be one of the best days because you're gonna see so much stuff that you ain't been able to see. And like I said, when I was coming home, I was riding that street. I got fascinated. I saw roadkill. I said, man, what yeah. DRE on the street? So this is gonna be small things, man, but it's all gonna be exciting, man. It's all new. You ain't gotta worry about looking over your shoulder all the time, man. Yeah. All of that, because you can move freely how you wanna move. I was just talking to the, uh, the older dude right there, the gentleman, he was talking to me. He was talking about, because the guards kept coming by, we was talking about prisons and stuff. And I told him, I said, yeah, I, I said, uh, he said, you you was a guard? He said, <laughs> I said, no, I, I said, I was one of their guests for a long time, yeah, you know. Yeah. So then I told him about my story and stuff. And then when I told him 30 some years, he did like that, he said, yeah. Ah, and I gave him a card oh, and everything, they was right? Tripping out. I was, when I was being closed, I, I was talking to the property officer and, um, the lady from, um, I guess she from HR, the business department, something like that, she was doing, um, rolling me out, you right. know, with my package and everything, but um, I was telling about myself, and that young was surprised, man, man, blowing her, you know? Yeah, and, um, yeah, because most people yeah. can't comprehend that, and then the fact that you went in like 16 years old, yeah. and you know what I'm saying, that you 41, that's like mind blowing the people out here. Yeah. That's why I say, man, I'm gonna let you be able to tell your story, and, and a lot of people will take to your story, man, a lot of people, can feel that man and they get interested in that. They want to know how to survive and how you do 24 years and come out and still have your mental capacities and stuff. And I be telling them all the time, man, it's, it's, it's mental warfare every day. You may be in physical warfare anytime, but it's mental warfare every day to try to keep your mental intact. You know what I'm saying? But the world is open up to you now, man. I know it seems weird too with all these people moving around up. Yeah, and I'm looking at everybody looking at us up because we're on the cameras. I know when I come when I come out, man. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey look, when I come out, it was like um, I look at everybody, they walk by, I'm like this or like that, and they like what? And you know it's a form of paranoia and yeah. it's a form of amazement because you ain't used to seeing people in all these clothes and moving around freely. You know what I'm saying? What's really gonna trip you out too is like when you see when you went to Walmart, man, when you went to Walmart, it's like a hundred times bigger than this store. So you walk up in there, there's going to be so many people moving around you and all that. You might have a little anxiety. I did at first, but it just take time, man. Just move slow. And you got The main thing you got to lock in your mind in here is you ain't got to worry about everybody who walk by you might try to hurt you. Yeah. It ain't, you know what I'm saying? You ain't even in that type of lifestyle no more. So it's a beautiful thing, man. Everything just beginning, my dude. It's gonna get better and better. Man, I'm proud of you too. Man. Yeah, you know, man. man. And um, for you using your, your platform, yo, to yeah. um, allow guys to share their stories, man, and um, yeah. their efforts, man, you know, um, putting guys in a position, man, to, um, to win, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And get them an opportunity, yo. Um, you know, all the time, you know, people, um, especially like probably some of your viewers, they probably just used to um, reading about people's stories or seeing it on TV, but you give the guys the opportunity to put their actual face, their, yeah. the actual person, yeah. you know, on screen, yeah. man, on, on camera, and let them tell their, share their story with the people, man. That's all I can mean for that. That's definitely you know, yeah. because that's yeah. what I tell them all the time. See, this is this is real life for me. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just not a story. It's real life. These is actual people. Mm -hmm. It's actual real events. Everything that I say on my YouTube is from some real experience and real people. 
So the more people that I can actually bring to them, to put the faces with, with the stories, I think that's just a, a beautiful thing, man. And like I say, they ain't heard your story yet in, in detail, but I'm gonna basically let you tell your story in detail. So they will hear it and um, things I'm gonna try to do with Dwayne, that's, that's gonna be even bigger, try to help some, you know, some cats get out yeah, and whatnot. Yeah, my man Dwayne, man, yeah, that was... Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah yo. That's amazing, yeah. Shout out oh. to, to uh, Dwayne Betts, Reginald Dwayne Betts is a uh, advocate and friend of his, one of the uh, main reasons, if not the main reason, that he's a free man today. Um, amazing story, he met him when he was uh, 16 years old, I think Dwayne was 17. He was 16. He yeah, was 16, yeah, you yeah. were 17. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, and um, he, he has since uh, did eight years in prison, got out of prison, uh, wrote uh, critical acclaimed books, NAACP awards, image awards, went on to go to uh, yeah, school and graduate Yale Law School and now is a, a, a lawyer, graduate of Yale, a uh, publisher of many books and an advocate for Terrell Kelly and help get Terrell Kelly out. Yeah. We will be bringing you an interview with him yeah. soon. Amazing, amazing story from jail to Yale. So y'all look forward to that, man. There's a yeah. lot more to come. Um, Team Bangy Pam, man, y'all support Terrell Kelly. He out here now, free man, a good man. And we're going to have some more stories about him real soon. So uh, I appreciate y'all, man. Be safe, be smart, make good decisions. Much love. Salute. Coming out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna have something because I'm rich in personality, you know, and uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts.